One of the key decisions you have to make when you're archiving your film to uh, high definition is to, is to decide which format of HD uh, you're going to record it. So you have a choice between 24p and 1080i, and there are distinct advantages and disadvantages, so let's go over these uh, in order that you can make a, the best decision possible. 1080i is more or less the HD big brother of uh, standard definition NTSC television. Uh, it records in bigger digital space in 1920 by 1080, um, but it still uses the same interlacing system television people have been using since uh, probably the invention of the TV. Uh, when film is put in 1080i, the frames per second must be converted from 24 frames of original film to 30 interlaced fields of television. Now this is accomplished by partially repeating some of the film frames in a sequence we call cadence. Now cadence makes up that six frames difference between 24 and 30 again by repeating in a certain pattern um, certain parts of the film frame so that you end up with 30 interlaced fields from 24 original frames of film. Now this little trick works uh, pretty great for um, broadcast and display and every movie you ever watched on TV uh, uh, before the invention of uh, high definition uh, used this little trick and still some of them uh, use it in high definition. Now when you have film that shot at 18 frames per second, uh, you're basically going to use the exact same kind of um, procedure, you know, in terms of creating uh, cadence inside the video, but it's going to be a slightly different cadence pattern. Uh, you need to make up 12 frames per second because you've shot at 18 and you're putting it into 30, so you're going to create uh, 12 additional frames uh, per second. So this system allows basically for the scanning of film at virtually any speed. And uh, our scanner, for example, will do uh, literally hundreds of different speeds between uh, 4 or 5 frames per second and uh, 30 or 40 frames per second. So there's really no limit uh, because uh, Cadence can take care of uh, any combination of speed differential between what you have and what you want. So... It's a very flexible system uh, and works quite well. The disadvantage of it is uh, because you've created this cadence uh, video, uh, you don't have a frame-for-frame -frame relationship anymore between your film and the digital. So one frame of film may be one and a half frames of digital. Uh, and depending how the sequence goes and depending if you're using 18 or 24, uh, you're going to have different uh, sequences in it. and if you try to take something that's been um, created in 1080i and, and try to return it back to its original state of 24 or 18, well it's uh, practically impossible. It's, uh, it's a very difficult task. So uh, it works quite well but you lose that frame for frame relationship between film and digital. Um, so if you're going to take something and uh, you're going to eventuate out back to film, uh, obviously you don't want to be working in 1080i. Uh, if it's only going to ever exist in digital and you're never going back to film and you don't need to ever see it in 24 again, uh, then it's a perfect choice. Um, like I say, you can record at any speed in 1080i. Um, an additional advantage uh, I've found, uh, 1080i seems to be a bit more compatible uh, with some file formats. You'll see that uh, in the professional world, of course, 24p is uh, the accepted norm. But in the television uh, world, uh, 1080i is the accepted norm. So um, it's a hard call, uh, but you one that you're going to have to make. Uh, when you're deciding how to put your uh, home movies on digital.